The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans Part 7 Thou wilt find the strongest of men in enmity to those who heed warning, the rabbinic Jews and the idolaters. And thou wilt find the nearest in affection to those who heed warning, those who say, we are Nazarenes, because among them are priests and monks, and because they are not proud. And when they listen to what was sent down to the messenger, thou seest their eyes overflow with tears from what they recognize of the truth. They say, Our Lord, we believe, write thou us down among the witnesses. And how could we not believe in God and what has come to us of the truth? and hope that our Lord will make us enter with the righteous people. So God rewarded them for what they said, gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein. And that is the reward of the doers of good. And those who are indifferent to warning and repudiate our proofs, they are the companions of hell. O oh, you who heed warning, Forbid not the good things that God has made lawful for you, and transgress not. God loves not the transgressors. And eat of what God has provided you, lawful and good, and be in prudent fear of God, in whom you are believers. God will not take you to task for the vain speech in your oaths, but he will take you to task for what you contract by oath and the expiation thereof is the feeding of ten needy persons, with the average of that you feed your families, or the clothing of them, or the manumission of a slave. But whoso has not the means, then a fast of three days. That is the expiation of your oaths when you swear. But keep your oaths. Thus does God make plain to you his proofs, that you might be grateful. O oh, you who heed warning, the intoxicant and games of chance and altars and divining arrows are but abomination among the work of the shaitan, so avoid it that you might be successful. The shaitan but wishes to cause among you enmity and hatred in the intoxicant and the games of chance, and to divert you from the remembrance of God and from the duty. So will you desist? And obey God, and obey the messenger, and beware. But if you turn away, know that but upon our messenger is the clear communication. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness do no wrong in what they eat when they are in prudent fear and believe and do deeds of righteousness. Then be in prudent fear and believe. Then be in prudent fear and do deeds of righteousness. And God loves the doers of good. O oh, you who heed warning, God will try you with something of the game that reaches your hands and your spears, so that God might know him who fears him unseen. Then whoso transgresses after that, for him is a painful punishment. O oh, you who heed warning, kill no game when you are forbidden, and whoso of you kills it intentionally, the payment is the like of what he killed from grazing livestock. Let judge it two just men from among you by a requirement reaching the leg joint, or expiation feeding poor persons, or the equivalent of that in fasting, that he might taste the evil consequences of his deed. God pardons what is past. But whoso goes back, God will take vengeance upon him, and God is mighty, able to requite. Made lawful for you is the game of the sea and the food thereof, as a provision for you and for those who travel. But forbidden you is the game of the land, as long as you are forbidden. And be in prudent fear of God to whom you will be gathered. 
God made the leg joint, the inviolable house, sustenance for mankind, the inviolable moon, and the requirement, and the chains of office. That is so that you might know that God knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and that God knows all things. Know that God is severe in retribution, and that God is forgiving, merciful. Upon the messenger is only the communication, and God knows what you reveal and what you conceal. Say thou, not the same are the bad and the good, and though there impress thee the abundance of the bad, ellipsis, it is still bad, to continue, so be in prudent fear of God, O you possessed of insight, that you might be successful. O you who heed warning, ask not about things if revealed to you would grieve you, but if you ask about them while the Qur'an is being sent down, they will be revealed to you. God pardoned those, and God is forgiving, forbearing. There did ask a people before you, then became deniers thereof. God appointed not any Bahira, or Saiba, or Wasila, or Hamin, but those who are indifferent to warning invent lies about God, and most of them do not reason. And when it is said to them, Come to what God has revealed, and to the messenger, they say, Sufficient for us is that upon which we found our fathers. Even though their fathers knew not anything, and were not rightly guided, O oh, you who heed warning, upon you are your souls. Whoso is gone astray cannot harm you when you are rightly guided. To God is the return of you altogether. He will inform you of what you did. O oh, you who heed warning, a witness between you when death is present with one of you at the time of bequest is two just men among you or to others from other than yourselves, if you be travelling through the land when the misfortune of death befalls you. Detain them after the duty, and they shall swear if you doubt. By God we would not sell it for a price, though he be a relative, and we will not conceal the witness of God, then should we be among the false. But if it be detected that they have laid claim in falsehood, then two others shall uphold their station, the two foremost among those that lay claim, and let them swear, By God, our witness has more right than their witness, and we have not transgressed. Then should we be of the wrongdoers. That will tend to them bearing witness properly, or fearing that oaths will be taken after their oaths and be in prudent fear of God, and listen, and God guides not the wantonly perfidious people. The day God gathers the messengers, then will he say, What was the response to you? They will say, We have no knowledge, thou art the knower of the unseen realms. When God will say, O Isa, son of Mariam, remember thou my favour to thee and to thy mother, when I strengthened thee with the spirit of holiness, thou speaking to men in the cradle and in maturity, and when I taught thee the law and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel, and when thou didst fashion of clay the likeness of a bird by my leave, and didst blow into it, and it became a bird by my leave, and thou didst heal the blind and the leper by my leave, and when thou didst bring forth the dead by my leave, and when I restrained the children of Israel from thee when thou camest to them with clear evidence, then those who were indifferent to warning among them said, This is only obvious sorcery. And when I instructed the white-robed ones, Believe in me and my messenger, they said, We believe, and bear thou witness that we are submitted. When the white-robed ones said, O Asa, son of Mariam, 
Is thy Lord able to send down upon us a repast from the sky? He said, Be in prudent fear of God, if you be believers. They said, We wish to eat thereof, and our hearts to be at rest, and to know that thou hast spoken truth to us, and to be among the witnesses thereto. Asa, son of Mariam, said, O God, our Lord, send thou down upon us a repast from the sky, that it might be a feast for us, for the first of us, and the last of us, and a proof from thee, and give thou us provision, and thou art the best of providers. God said, I will send it down upon you, then whoso denies thereafter among you, him will I punish with a punishment, wherewith I will not punish any among all mankind. And when God will say, O Asa, son of Mariam, didst thou say to men, Take me and my mother for two gods besides God, he will say, Glory be unto thee. It was not for me to say that to which I had no right. If I had said it, then thou wouldst have known it. Thou knowest what is in my soul, and I know not what is in thy soul. Thou art the knower of the unseen realms. I said to them only what thou commandest me, Serve God, my Lord, and your Lord. And I was witness unto them while I was among them. And when thou tookest me, thou wast the watcher over them. And thou art witness to all things. If thou punish them, they are thy servants, and if thou forgive them, thou art the mighty, the wise. God will say, This is the day in which the truthful are benefited by their truthfulness. They have gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein forever. God is pleased with them, and they with him. That is the tremendous achievement. To God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and what is in them, and he is powerful over all things. Chapter 6 In the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful. Praise belongs to God, who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light. Then those who are indifferent to warning ascribe equals to their Lord. He it is who created you from clay, then decreed a term, and a named term is with him, then do you doubt. And he is God in the heavens and in the earth. He knows your inward and your outward, and he knows what you earn. And there comes not to them any proof among the proofs of their Lord, but they turn away therefrom, then have they repudiated the truth when it came to them, but there will come to them news of that whereat they mocked. Have they not considered how many a generation we destroyed before them? We established them in the earth as we have not established you, and we sent the sky upon them in abundant rains, and made the rivers flow beneath them. Then we destroyed them for their transgressions, and brought into being after them another generation. And had we sent down upon thee a decree on parchment, so that they might touch it with their hands, those who are indifferent to warning would have said, This is only obvious sorcery. And they would have said, Oh, that an angel had but been sent down upon him. But had we sent down an angel, the matter would have been concluded. Then would they not have been reprieved. And had we made him an angel, we would have made him as a man, and covered them in what they do cover. And messengers have been mocked before thee. Then there surrounded those who derided them that whereat they mocked. Say thou, travel in the land, then see how was the final outcome of the repudiators. Say thou, unto whom belongs what is in the heavens and the earth? Say thou, unto God, he has ordained upon himself mercy. He will bring you all together to the day of resurrection, whereof is no doubt. Those who have lost their souls, they do not believe. 
and unto him belongs what rests in the night and the day, and he is the hearing, the knowing. Say thou, is it other than God I am to take as ally, the originator of the heavens and the earth, and who feeds but is not fed? Say thou, I am commanded to be first among those who submit, and be thou not among the idolaters. Say thou, I fear if I should oppose my Lord the punishment of a tremendous day. From whom it is averted that day he will have had mercy upon him. And that is the clear achievement. And if God touch thee with affliction, then is there no remover thereof save he. And if he touch thee with good, then is he powerful over all things, and he is the conqueror over his servants, and he is the wise, the aware. Say thou, what thing is greatest in witness? Say thou, God is witness between me and you, and this Quran is given me as instruction, that I might warn you therewith and whom it reaches. Do you bear witness that there are other gods with God? Say thou, I bear not witness. Say thou, he is but one God, and I am innocent of that to which you ascribe a partnership. Those whom we gave the law recognize it as they recognize their sons. Those who lose their souls, they do not believe. And who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God or repudiates his proofs? The wrongdoers will not be successful. And the day we gather them all together, then will we say to those who ascribe a partnership, Where are your partners that you claimed? Then will their means of denial be only that they will say, By God our Lord, we were not idolaters. See thou how they will lie against themselves, when strayed from them will be what they invented. And among them are some who listen to thee, but we place upon their hearts coverings, lest they should understand it, and in their ears deafness, and if they see every proof, they do not believe in it. When they have come to thee, they argue against thee. Those who are indifferent to warning say, This is only the legends of former peoples, and they forbid it, and stay far from it, and destroy not, save themselves, and they perceive not. And if thou couldst see when they are set before the fire and say, Would that we were sent back, we would not repudiate the proofs of our Lord, but would be among the believers. The truth is, clear to them will be what they hid before. But were they sent back, they would return to what they are forbidden, and they are liars. And they say, There is only our life in this world, and we will not be raised. And if thou couldst see when they are set before their Lord, he will say, Is then this not the truth? They will say, Verily, by our Lord. He will say, Then taste the punishment for what you denied. They have lost who repudiate the meeting with God. When the hour has come upon them unexpectedly, they will say, Oh, our regret that we neglected it and they will bear their burdens upon their backs. In truth, evil is what they will bear. And the life of this world is only play and diversion, and the abode of the hereafter is better for those of prudent fear. Will you then not use reason? We knew that it grieves thee what they say, and they reject not thee, but the wrongdoers reject the proofs of God. And messengers were rejected before thee, and they were patient in that in which they were denied and suffered in position until our help came to them. And there is none to change the words of God, and there has come to thee some of the report of the emissaries. And if their evasion be hard for thee, if thou art able to seek a tunnel in the earth or a stairway in the sky, then bring thou to them a proof. And had God willed, he could have gathered them together to the guidance, so be thou not among the ignorant. There but respond those who hear, and the dead God raises them, then to him 
are they returned. And they say, O oh, that a proof had but been sent down upon him from his Lord. Say thou, God is able to send down a proof, but most of them know not. And there is no creature in the earth, nor bird flying on its wings, save our communities the like of you. We have not neglected anything in the law. Then to their Lord are they gathered. And those who repudiate our proofs are deaf and dumb in darkness. Whom God wills, he leads astray. And whom he wills, he sets on a straight path. Say thou, have you considered, if the punishment of God come upon you, or the hour come upon you, would you then call to other than God, if you be truthful? The truth is, it is to him you would call, and he would remove that for which you call to him, if he should will. And you would forget that to which you ascribe a partnership. And we sent to communities before thee, then we took them with affliction and adversity, that they might become humble. Oh, that when our disaster came upon them, they had but grown humble. But their hearts hardened, and the shaitan made what they did fair to them. And when they had forgotten that whereof they had been reminded, then we opened upon them the gates of all things. When they had exulted in what they were given, we took them unawares. And then were they dumbfounded, and cut off was the root of the people who did wrong. And praise belongs to God, the Lord of all mankind. Say thou, have you considered, if God should take away your hearing and your sight and seal your hearts, who is the God, save God, who would restore it to you? See thou how we expound the proofs to them, then turn they away. Say thou, have you considered, if the punishment of God should come to you unexpectedly or with warning, would there be destroyed save the wrongdoing people? And we send the emissaries only as bearers of glad tidings and warners. Then whoso believes and does right, they need not fear, nor will they regret. And those who repudiate our proofs, the punishment will touch them because they were wantonly perfidious. Say thou, I say not to you I possess the treasuries of God, nor I know the unseen, nor do I say to you, I am an angel. I follow only what I am instructed. Say thou, are the blind and the seeing equal? Will you then not take thought? And warn thou thereby those who fear that they will be gathered to their Lord, and they have no ally nor intercessor besides him, that they might be in prudent fear. And repel thou not those who call to their Lord morning and evening, seeking his countenance. Not upon thee is anything of their account, and nothing of thy account is upon them. For thou shouldst repel them and be of the wrongdoers. And thus we subject some of them to means of denial by others, that they might say, Are these they whom God favours among us? Does then God not best know the grateful? And when there come to thee those who believe in our proofs, say thou, Peace be unto you. Your Lord has decreed upon himself mercy, that whoso of you did evil through ignorance, then turned in repentance after that and did right, he is forgiving, merciful. And thus we set out and detail the proofs. And that the way of the evildoers might be made manifest, say thou, I am forbidden to serve those to whom you call besides God. Say thou, I follow not your vain desires. Then had I gone astray and not been among the rightly guided. Say thou, I am upon clear evidence from my Lord, and you repudiate it. I have not that which you seek to hasten. Judgment is only for God. He relates the truth, and he is the best to decide. Say thou, had I what you seek to hasten, the matter would have been concluded between me and you. And God knows best the wrongdoers. And with him are the keys of the unseen, and none knows them 
save he, and he knows what is in the land and the sea, and no leaf falls save he knows it, and there is not a grain in the darkness of the earth, and nothing moist or dry save is in a clear decree, and he it is who takes you at night and knows what you earn by day, then he raises you up therein, that there be fulfilled a named term, then to him is your return, then will he inform you of what you did, and he is the conqueror over his servants, and he sends guardians over you, when death has come to one of you, our messengers will take him, and they fail not. Then will they be sent back to God, their benefactor. The truth in truth, judgment is his, and he is the swiftest of account takers. Say thou, who delivers you from the darkness of the land and the sea? You call to him humbly and in secret. If he delivers us from this, we will be among the grateful, say thou. God delivers you from this, and every sort of ordeal, then ascribe you a partnership. Say thou, he is the one able to send punishment upon you from above you, or from beneath your feet, or to confound you through sects, and make some of you taste the might of others. See thou how we expound the proofs, that they might understand, and thy people repudiated it, but it is the truth. Say thou, I am not a guardian over you. Every report has a place, and you will come to know. And when thou seest those who jest concerning our proofs, turn thou away from them until they jest on a subject other than it. And if the shaitan should cause thee to forget, then sit thou not after the reminder with the wrongdoing people. And not upon those of prudent fear is any account for them in anything but a reminder that they might be in prudent fear. And leave thou those who take their doctrine as play and diversion, and whom the life of this world has deceived. And remind thou with it, lest a soul be debarred for what it has earned. It has not besides God ally or intercessor, and though it offer in compensation every equivalence, it will not be accepted from it. These are they who are debarred for what they earn. They have a scalding liquid and a painful punishment because of what they denied. Say thou, shall we call rather than to God to what neither profits us nor harms us, and be turned back on our heels after God has guided us like one whom the shaitan seduce in the earth, lost in confusion? He has companions inviting him to guidance. Come thou to us, say thou, the guidance of God, that is guidance. And we have been commanded to submit to the Lord of all mankind and to uphold the duty and be in prudent fear of him. And he it is to whom you will be gathered, and he it is who created the heavens and the earth aright. And the day he says, Be thou, then it is. His speech is the truth. And to him belongs the dominion the day the trumpet is blown, the knower of the unseen and the seen, and he is the wise, the aware. And when Ibrahim said to his father Azar, Hast thou taken things fashioned as gods? I see thee and thy people in obvious error. And thus we showed Ibrahim the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and that he might be of those who are certain. Then when the night covered him, he saw a star. He said, This is my Lord. Then when it passed, he said, I love not those that pass. Then when he saw the moon emerge, he said, This is my Lord. Then when it passed, he said, If my Lord guide me not, I will be of the people who stray. Then when he saw the sun emerge, he said, This is my Lord, this is greater. Then when it passed, he said, O oh, my people, I am innocent of that to which you ascribe a partnership. I set my face towards him who made the heavens and the earth. 
inclining to truth, and I am not of the idolaters. And his people disputed with him. He said, Dispute you with me concerning God, but he has guided me, and I fear not that to which you ascribe a partnership, save that my Lord should will anything. My Lord encompasses all things in knowledge. Will you then not take heed? And how could I fear that to which you ascribe a partnership, when you fear not that you ascribe a partnership with God to that for which he has not sent down upon you a warrant? Then which of the two factions has more right to security, if you know? Those who heed warning and have not clothed their faith in injustice, they have security and they are rightly guided. And that is our argument. We gave it to Ibrahim against his people. We raise in degree whom we will. Thy Lord is wise, knowing. And we gave him Ishaq and Yaqub, each we guided, and Nuh did we guide before. And of his progeny Dawood and Suleiman and Ayyub and Yusuf and Musa and Harun. And thus we reward the doers of good, and Zakaria, and Yahya, and Isa, and Ilyas, each was of the righteous, and Ismail, and al and Yunus, and Lut. And each did we prefer above all mankind, and among their fathers, and their progeny, and their brethren. And we chose them, and guided them to a straight path. That is the guidance of God wherewith he guides whom he wills of his servants. And had they ascribed a partnership, what they did would have been vain for them. Those are they whom we gave the law and judgment and prophethood. And if these deny them, we have entrusted them to a people who did not deny them. Those are they whom God guided, so follow thou their guidance. Say thou, I ask of you no reward for it. It is only a reminder to all mankind. And they measure not God with the measure due him when they say God has not sent down upon a mortal anything. Say thou, who sent down the law which Musa brought as a light and guidance for men? You make it parchments which you show, and you hide much. And you were taught what you knew not, you or your fathers. Say thou, God, then leave thou them playing in their jests. And this is a decree we sent down, one blessed, confirming what is within its scope, and that thou warn the mother of cities and those around her. And those who believe in the hereafter believe in it, and they keep to their duty. And who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God, or says, I am instructed, when he is not instructed in anything? And who says, I will send down the like of what God sent down? And if thou couldst see when the wrongdoers are in the throes of death, and the angels stretching out their hands, Bring forth your souls. This day your reward is humiliating punishment because you ascribed to God other than the truth and scorned his proofs. And you have come to us alone as we created you the first time. And you have left all that we conferred upon you behind you. And we see not with you your intercessors which you claimed were among you as partners cut off between you and strayed from you is what you claimed god splits the seed and the kernel he brings forth the living from the dead and is the bringer forth of the dead from the living that is god how then are you deluded the cleaver of daybreak and he appointed the night as rest and the sun and moon as reckoning. That is the determining of the mighty, the knowing. And he it is who made for you the stars, that you might be rightly guided thereby in the darkness of the land and the sea. We have set out and detailed the proofs for people who know. And he it is who brought you into being from one soul, then a place and a repository, and we have set out and detailed the proofs for people who understand. 
and he it is who sent down water from the sky, and we brought forth thereby the growth of all things, and we brought forth from it greenery, bringing forth from it grain, mounted upon itself, and from the date palm, from its pollen, bunches of dates within reach, and gardens of grapes, and olives, and pomegranates, alike and not alike. Look upon the fruits thereof when it bears fruit and ripens, in that are proofs for people who believe. And they make for God partners of the jinn when he created them, and they ascribe to him sons and daughters without knowledge, Glory be unto him, and exalted is he above what they describe. The originator of the heavens and the earth, how can there be for him a son when there has not been for him a consort? And he created all things, and he knows all things. That is God, your Lord. There is no God, save he, creator of all things. So serve him and he is guardian over all things. Vision comprehends him not, but he comprehends vision. He is the subtle, the aware. Means of insight have come to you from your Lord, and whoso sees, it is for his soul, and whoso is blind, it is against it, and I am not a custodian over you. And thus we expound the proofs, both that they might say thou hast studied, and that we might make it plain for people who know. Follow thou what thou art instructed from thy Lord, there is no God save he, and turn thou away from the idolaters. And had God so willed, they would have not ascribed a partnership, and we have not made thee a custodian over them and thou art not a guardian over them. And revile not those to whom they call besides God, lest they revile God in enmity without knowledge. Thus to every community do we make fair their doings, then to their Lord is their return, and he will inform them of what they did. And they swore by God their strongest oaths, that if a proof came to them they would believe in it. Say thou, the proofs are but with God, and what will make you realise that it is they when they come? They do not believe. So we will turn away their hearts and their sight, as they believed not in it to begin with. And leave thou them wandering blindly, in their inordinacy. <laughs>